This is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. Skyrim is a land of soaring landscapes and vibrant nature. This country is home to the world's most iconic plants and animals, but in recent years, global warming has started to affect and harm so much of these animals' habitats and feeding grounds. So today, we will explore this beautiful land, and we will examine how our human civilization is affecting this fragile ecosystem. This is a wild mountain deer. A staple in these hillsides, the reclusive but beautiful deer hunts for berries in the frosty underbrush. Oh no. A bear has caught the deer's scent. The bear is hungry and lunges for the deer with razor-sharp claws. With one fell swoop, the deer is slain. Nature can be savage here, but the bear's family will eat well tonight. Mud crabs. These playful creatures forage for clams along the banks of the Skyrim rivers. A single mud crab eats almost its entire body weight in mussels and clams every single day. Oh no. Bears. This bear family has caught the mud crab scent, and they lunge into attack. Even the armored mud crabs fall quickly to the bear's razor sharp teeth. The mud crabs are slain, and the bear cubs will eat well tonight. Mammoths are the kings of the Skyrim world. A proud and solitary creature, they roam for hundreds of miles at a time, grazing on the grasses that grow- Aw oh, shit! Bears! A family of 25 bears has caught the mammoth scent. They surround the mammoth, attacking with razor-sharp claws. After a long and gallant fight, the epic mammoth falls, and the bears will eat well tonight. Dragons. A powerful and peaceful creature, they are an icon of Skyrim's world. Gifted with flight, dragons roam the land free from the dangers below. Oh, God damn it! Bears! Three dozen bears show up to hunt the dragon, but guess what, assholes? Dragons can fly. You can't get him. God damn, bears, mind your own fucking business. But the bears are clever. They run to where the dragon lands next and call in 10 more bear allies using their player dot place at me console command. But the dragon takes off again. So the bears now begin systematically calling in reinforcements. They plant teams of bears in a comprehensive grid across the entire landscape so that eventually the dragon can't land anywhere without falling onto a bear landmine. The dragon desperately searches for safety, but the bear landmines are too numerous. After like 20 minutes, the dragon is finally overwhelmed. And these 400 bears will eat well tonight. But sadly, beautiful scenes like this might soon be a thing of the past. Because despite these bears cunning, global warming is making Skyrim too hot for bears to live here. And now these beautiful creatures are at just a tenth of their former population. Before global warming, bears here numbered in the billions, but now their fragile ecosystem has changed, and this is all that's left. So please, use the hashtag SaveTheBears, and with enough support and conservation efforts, we can help the bear population recover in Skyrim, and they can finally raise new families and thrive again, just as long as they- Oh shit, Sonic! Sonic lunges at the bears with razor-sharp claws!